Welcome back to the next edition, the newest edition, as of this moment, of Trial by Fire. Today I'm going to be trying another hot sauce. Big shocker on that one. That's what you're here to see. But I don't know what one I'm going to be trying. I haven't decided yet or randomly picked yet. Back in February, if you were watching the channel and whatnot, you'll be aware that I went to the Heatwave Hot Sauce Festival and purchased a whole bunch of stuff. One of the other things I picked up was... A sample box from Heat from the Hammer, based out of Hamilton, Ontario. I've done some videos. The last video I posted was from a uh, uh, sample box from Purple Ton. This one's from Heat from the Hammer. This is their sample box. It contains 10 small bottles of sauce. Ooh, okay. Let's see what's all in here. Let's see if I can prop this up a little bit so you guys can... See a little bit better. It never wants to say properly. There we go. Okay, so we have their business card. Hot sauces and spicy snacks. JPS hot stuff at Gmail. Instagram, heat from the hammer. Um, website, heatfromthehammer.com. All that'll be below. So yeah. The usual business card. And then we have a description of <clears throat> their sauces here. So we'll look at that in a moment and see what we have here. So we have, if I can get them out here, we have a cherry fusion barbecue, a balsamic burn. Midfire, Wildfire, Polo Y Pe Pescado, Nicholas Electric Elixir, going after the Tesla thing, Molten Mango, Buffalo Bound Wing Sauce, Rosé Re Rosy Red, number five, or Rosé Red, and the Devil's Punch. <clears throat> is there anything else under this, or is it just more packaging here? Let's find out. Just packaging and a few little fillers. So, I do. I'll do that after. <laughs> so we have that lineup here, <clears throat> and I kind of have an idea which one I want to try, but there's a few I want to, but I think I'm going to eliminate these two for now, just for color-wise, I'm going to say, hey, let's, let's eliminate those two, and then we're going to eliminate these three. On the sole purpose that I'm not a huge fan of the green colored sauces. <laughs> but that's just me. We're going to go back to popping this up here a bit. So we have five sauces here to choose from. No, oh, that's the devil's ton, or the devil's one. That is the cherry one. Barbecue. Don't remember which two these were. So. I don't know. Which one do you think I should go for? One, two, three, four, or five? Now, obviously, I can't hear you. <clears throat> but maybe I can. If I listen real closely, scream out which one I should try. No, I'm not hearing you. Either you're not loud enough or I'm, I'm going deaf. One of the two things. Can't be anything to do with a pre-recorded video or anything. So, um, don't know if I want to go super hot tonight, so put the devil back. And barbecue will kind of cease on that one for the moment. So, we have 
The two unknowns and the cherry. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Guess we're going with cherry. What were these two again? The Nicola and the Wolfen Mango. Well, out of curiosity's sake, let's see what I didn't choose. Uh, do 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Being able to read would be help. So the t Nikola Tesla one. Looking to add flavor boost to your night rice dishes. This sauce pairs ginger and turmeric with scotch bonnet pepper for a mild heat that goes well with most anything, especially beef. In 1898, Hamilton was the first city in Canada to adopt Nikola Tesla's AC electric system, turning the city into an imperial or sorry, industrial powerhouse. So you get facts with it. So that would be that would, would have been a nice one, but it will be a nice one when I try it. And the molten mango. <clears throat> Come on. So the molten mango one. Let's see what this one says. Uh, mangoes, persimmons, and oranges combined with scotch bonnet pepper result in a fruity yet spicy tropical hot sauce that is a sure to please. The bright orange color of this sauce looks just like the, it was molten steel poured in the hammer. Okay. So let's go with the cherry, which should have been the first one on the list here, I believe. Cherry. Oh, this one is actually a barbecue sauce, too. Oh, well, okay. Either way. <laughs> <clears throat> so cherry fusion barbecue sauce. Uh, contains mustard, so if you have an issue with mustard or mustard seed, do not try this one. Let's see what it says here. It's the bomb. Tomatoes, cherries, sugars, apple cider vinegar, so the sugars are honey and molasses, apple cider vinegar, onions, rosé red number five, which is one of the other sauces, uh, which contains water, vinegar, Tomatoes and salt, um, red chili, red red chilies, finger chilies, scotch bonnet, tomato paste, honey, garlic, salt, pepper, garlic, salt, and spices. So it shall be an interesting one. It's actually oh, you got me. My nose running here now. Weather change, gotta love it. So let's give this a tasty test and see where we go with it. I do like having these little sample bottles for uh, testing because sometimes you just never know whether you actually like a sauce enough to use it on anything else. So the companies that do these are great. If any company watching this happens to do these and wants me to try their stuff, feel free to contact me. My email is in the, uh, the information. Hmm. It's almost got a maple barbecue smell to it, which is odd because there's no maple. She's thick. <laughs> As you could tell by the wonderful many noise, which hopefully wasn't too loud for you guys. But yeah, not a lot on there. 
that wasn't really pouring out, so. I'm not really getting any cherry smell to it. But cheers. You can taste a little bit of the cherry. It's kind of a subtle cherry. But I'm not really sure what else I'm getting. A little bit of garlic, maybe. Not a whole lot of flavor coming through. Again, sorry about how loud that is. So let's give this another try here and uh, see how this one goes. Yeah, no heat whatsoever. <clears throat> it's decent flavoring, just not anything particular that you can that I can pick out. Like I said, I can taste the garlic, very very little underlying of the cherry, and like it kind of oh pop up here, pop up there kind of thing. But yeah, it's not it's not anything that's just blowing my socks off. It is so good. It's <clears throat> it is what it is. It's a barbecue sauce, not so necessarily a hot sauce. But yeah, it's again no heat. Uh, personal flavor wise, I'd probably put it at a, a one, maybe a two. Um, in the sense, it's just not really doing anything special for me. But. I have had their sauces before, and they're, they're decent sauces, so I'm looking forward to a lot of these other ones. This one just kind of lackluster for me at the moment anyways. So, that's pretty much it for this one. So I will say enjoy the heat and stay spicy as usual without the heat or the spiciness in this one. But, yeah, again, once again, that is Cherry Fusion Barbecue by Heat from the Hammer. So yeah, if you're interested in trying them, the information will be below on there in my description for the website and everything. So you can check them out and believe you can order this sample uh, package online. So that if you're interested in trying to do so, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think he said he has another one with a few different sauces or a different mix or something. Not 100% sure on that one. I could be wrong. But... Thanks for watching. Don't forget to do the usual stuff and we'll see you next time when who knows what I'll try. Hopefully it could be something really, really spicy or something completely different. You never know. With me, you just never know. We'll see you later.